so I would not purchase these again. Yeah. That looks so good. I cannot wait to wear these. I remember when Zara first, it's not gonna be so obvious that you ate a burger. Welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is Shireen and I bring you fashion and lifestyle video content. It is Friday afternoon. It's probably almost three o'clock in the afternoon and the sun looks like it is coming out. So I'm about to run a few errands. Thank you guys so much for showing me so much love on my most recent vlogs, especially the New York vlog, you guys. I needed a few days to recover from New York. When I tell you I was exhausted, it was such an amazing trip, but I was so, so exhausted. And then when I got back home, I had a lot of things to do. I had to catch up on work. You know, I got my house professionally cleaned. And then I'm also was dealing with an ant problem, you guys, Ugh, a mess. So many ants outside and they were making their way in. So I had pest control come out this morning. So hopefully that remedied the situation. And I feel like there are quite a few people in my um, neighborhood, in my community, dealing with the same thing. Cause I've been seeing pest control trucks out of nowhere like crazy recently so i think everybody is just dealing with the ant problem even my cleaning lady told me that her daughter had an ant problem with her patio so so you know this weather just brings out all the creepy crawlers so, so anyway i am now back home and settled however i will have to go to jamaica in a few weeks not on vacation this trip was not planned I'm not going to be on a resort it's not a vacation it is purely family so I really need some summer clothes for my trip that are sleeveless, light fabrics. Before I order anything, I really wanted to go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls, see what I could pick up, see what I can find. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. And then if I don't find anything, then I will go on to like ASOS or um, Zara or H&M and just look at some pieces on their websites. Um, ASOS, they have been killing it lately. I do have some pieces from like Zara to show you guys that you guys did not see in the New York vlog. Um, and do I have anything left from ASOS? I know I showed you guys some pieces from Target and ASOS. I'll be doing a haul towards the end of this vlog and I'll be including those pieces and in whatever I pick up today. So yeah, today we are going to um, head to TJ Maxx, head to Marshalls, see what we can pick up. I do have a long list of errands that I need to take care of, but I'm really trying my best not to pack my day with a bunch of things to do and just kind of spread it out. I really have an issue with overwhelming my schedule and then having disappointment when I don't get everything done or everything done the right way. So I'm trying to do better with just not over flooding my schedule as it relates to both the work as well as play. So that is the plan for the day. Um, I'll before have we leave out, let me just share my outfit of the day. Very simple look. Um, this shirt is from Zara. It is a sheer t-shirt, very comfortable. I feel like this is my first time wearing this t-shirt and I've had it for at least six months. I actually featured it here on the channel before in a vlog as well as in a short video. I also have on some jeans from American Eagle. These jeans you guys saw in my New York vlog. If you haven't watched it, if you finished this vlog, make sure you watch it. But in my New York City vlog, I did feature these American Eagle jeans. Um, just accessorizing. These earrings are from Amazon. They're just some little gold-plated earrings. My uh, bracelet is Gucci cuff. This one is from TJ Maxx. My vintage Givenchy necklace. And then my Queen Nefertiti from Black um, from BeautyMelanin.com. And then I'm wearing my Fendi sneakers. You guys have seen this, these sneakers in my 
previous vlog they're old i'm taking my gucci bucket my gucci um marmot the bucket bag and then i'm also bringing these glasses by max studio that i picked up from nordstrom drag you guys have seen this from north yeah from nordstrom drag you guys have seen this in my latest vlog as well Before I did anything, I had to get some food in my system. I haven't ate anything all day besides oatmeal this morning, and it is 3.42. That is crazy. I had a meeting for work this morning. Um, it was a Zoom meeting, but still. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be working out later, so I wanted to play it safe and not like have a cheat meal, because I just hate having cheat meals on days I work out. I feel like it just defeats the purpose. So I got these cool chicken grill wraps. These are pretty good. They do offer, you know, a dressing to go with them, kind of like a salad. But I always decline because I dip it in the chicken noodle soup, you guys. This chicken noodle soup is so good in comparison to other fast food restaurants. Now, nothing is better to me than Jamaican homemade chicken soup, okay? Nothing is better than that. Um, even from some Jamaican restaurants, nothing is better. But if I have to go to a regular or schmegular fast food restaurant, Chick-fil-A's chicken noodle soup is so good. So I usually just kind of like dip the wrap in it as I'm eating. So I'm gonna eat this really quickly and then we'll head to the stores. All right, my energy is a little bit better now that I ate. <laughs> Girl was hungry and I ate half of my food. So I have a little snack for later. And just to give you guys a custom closet update, um, as you saw from previous clips, my closet is pretty much styled. I'm just waiting for some pieces to come in from Amazon before I show it to you guys. But I'm really, really excited about it. I love just going and being in that room, you guys. Like, that is what I wanted. I wanted a place that I would love to be in. It inspired me. I feel like it's not so much of a storage space or a storage closet. It's more so one of inspiration. I try to make it more artistic. And of course it will forever evolve because my wardrobe is forever evolving but I love it. I absolutely love it. And I feel like it was so worth the investment. It was so worth it. Like just being able to see what I own. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Most of my clothes are still in my master bedroom closet. And I do plan on styling that closet as well because I want every space in my home to be one that inspires me and one that feels really, really good. So. I do plan on styling that closet as well, but I'm realizing that I don't really wanna own too many clothes. Y'all know I'm an accessory girl anyway. Like I could wear basics paired with statements every single day of the week. Like, don't get me wrong. I do have some of my statement pieces and clothing that I love. If I had to choose, I would prefer investing in my accessories versus my clothing. And so, I like these dresses. I really like these dresses, but because of my bust, they make me look um, pregnant. Till I let it burn, but never lose my desire. desire. Had it from the moment that I felt my first love. I knew I'd never get enough of you. I took the risk like I'm bulletproof. Shot, shots in my heart, but it pleased the truth. I part of every little thing I do. So as soon as I got into Target, it started raining so hard. And I was able to shop because I'm like, all right, by the time I finished shopping, the rain would have stopped. It did not. I mean, it slowed down a little bit, but still definitely raining, as you can see. 
Um, I didn't see anything in Marshalls. Yeah, Marshalls didn't have much. Target, I did get those two ribbed bodycon dresses and I'm actually gonna order a few more um, from the website. I know a lot of you ladies live in the area. I do not like this Target when it comes to clothes. I feel like when I look at other vloggers who shop at Target, the selection is so much better. And don't get me wrong, I could go to another Target, which is probably not too, too far. But this is the one, this one is most convenient to where I live. So I usually stop by. But this Target usually does not have a wide selection. It's usually picked through. They don't really replenish as often. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna order um, a few more of those dresses from the website because I do see that they're available. And even if I don't take them to Jamaica, I can just wear them throughout the summer. Clothes. When I tried I, on those dresses and saw my body in the dressing room, I'm very, very proud of myself. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm very proud. Nobody has to pat me on the back, okay? I am unashamed to say no one has to pat me on the back. I am patting my own self on the back because I've worked hard. I've been working hard, okay? Working hard. My body, my weight fluctuates, but I have been so consistent in the gym. And I feel like this is probably the most consistent I've been in my life. Like, I've always been in and out of the gym in and out of running the parks you know i've always been in and out but when life happens i always stop and then have to start back up this is the first time where i've consistently worked out for four to five years and i am so proud now don't get me wrong there were times where i was inconsistent this go around but not for as long of a period like it may have been like three months i've been you know i was inconsistent and i would gain weight but i have been doing really really good in the gym and with my eating and I will stay on my fitness pal usually I would get on my fitness pal and get off when I feel like I you know I have it down and know how to like eat and then I gain that weight right back I'm staying on my fitness pal because it really keeps me in check when it comes to my calorie and nutrition intake but anyway enough of the chit chat let's go into Nordstrom's Rack real quick possibly TJ Maxx and see what they have Never mind. It's raining even harder. Going home. Going home. I'm gonna go home and chill out tonight. <laughs> I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wanna Sunday ladies it is Sunday afternoon it's like probably like after 3 30 um and I've just been taking it easy all day really all weekend y'all normally I'm out and about running over the streets shopping thrifting but I didn't feel like it this weekend and so this morning I had a really slow morning didn't even go to the gym um as you saw in the previous clips got you know casually cute to go out run a bunch of errands grab something to eat go thrifting go to tj maxx go to Nordstrom drag and you guys i got dressed 
went to get something to eat i went to my mexican spot then i went to nordstrom's rack didn't see much and then i came home i honestly didn't feel like shopping today i didn't feel like running around i didn't feel like being outside i really just wanted to be in the house <laughs> i intended on coming home and just continuing yellowstone okay as you guys saw in the previous clips i am on episode two <laughs> I watched the series um, 1883 first, then I watched 1923, all amazing by the way. And now I'm starting Yellowstone. And I intended on just watching Yellowstone and doing nothing today. But I had some Amazon packages that came in and I wanted to, as I was unboxing it, I was like, I have to, I have to tell my girls. I gotta share this with my girls. Some of these pieces, <sighs> chef's kisses, while others, trash okay trash and i'm talking about pieces to enhance your wardrobe the organization your closet you guys know as you see behind me i'm building out my custom closet all of the pieces that i ordered did not arrive yet and i still need to order more but i do want to share the pieces that came in and give you guys my feedback on them and if you guys are in the process of customizing your closet or organizing your closet i also got some pieces in from target i will do a haul tomorrow because um target Saks Fifth avenue and just some other places like zara um, from the sale so i'm gonna do a separate haul tomorrow but as far as my amazon custom closet pieces definitely wanted to show it to you guys today the first set of pieces and i'm gonna just show you one of them but it came in a set of three are these acrylic boxes i will link everything below you guys these are so plush very light they came put together very plush they do have a like a hollow opening the bottom is open so it's not heavy at all but when i tell you this looks so much better then another set that i purchased and one thing that i did when it came to and i will probably repeat this when i actually do a full closet reveal but one thing that i did was i styled my pieces first and then placed orders of all the accessories needed um, i did not want to order too much or too little of anything and when i finally placed my orders i only ordered a few one or a few of certain pieces that i was not sure of these this right here this set i'm gonna show you what they look like in my closet y'all i immediately just ordered two more sets because i love them that much and they came pretty quickly these which which are risers and i think they're more popular for like dessert displays but i thought they could possibly work in my closet they don't look good i'm picky so in my opinion they don't look good they don't look as clean you know being open as these so i would not purchase these again i will link these below just in case you guys like them and i'll just note i would not recommend but let me show you what they look like so this is the acrylic box it came in the set i think this was the smallest one I love it y'all I love it I ordered some shoe um risers as well but you guys this right here so plush so clean right versus like this for instance let me take this off and show you what this will look like not good not good you see the difference nope i'm ordering more of these just because of how clean it looks and my intention um for these are not only to place belts on but also my scarves and just other knickknacks where i want to create some dimension within each shelf so yeah that looks so good, right? Versus the other. Let me show you the other things that I, the other pieces that I purchased. You guys, I gotta get these braids redone. Oh my God, especially before I go to Jamaica in a few weeks. So my sister, she's out of town. 
so I'm waiting for her to um, come back to let me know when she can wash and treat my hair so that I can set my braid appointment because these braids need to be done so bad. I mean, it's only been over a month, but I don't keep braids in for long periods of time because my hair does grow pretty fast. I seen a video online where somebody had, um, you know, was talking about they kept their braids in five months. I was like, her hair must not grow. Because how can you keep your braids in five months? Ladies, how long do you guys keep your braids in for? I mean, I feel like two months is probably average for knotless braids, but I don't like to manipulate my hair so much for it to look neat. And that's what I feel like I've been doing with these braids. I have to put edge control, so much edge control on because all of this hair has, you know, is now loose and so much new growth my grays are showing anyway like <laughs> back that. to this custom closet so i mentioned to you guys when i first shared my closet with you guys without it being styled how um i watched a video that also got um she also got her closet done by closet by design and she ordered these white plugs for these holes that you guys see here in the background. So I ordered three bags. They come in like a 200, a pack of 200. So I ordered three bags. I have, I calculated, I probably have close to 2000 holes y'all, 2000, okay? With between all my shelves. But I just wanted to order a few packs. So I ordered three just to make sure it was the correct fit and it is. Let me show you the holes. Let me show you the holes that I already did and so you guys can see what they will look like. So these are the holes that I plugged you guys. And although it's not like a perfect match when it comes to the color, it definitely looks cleaner than having these holes exposed like this. So I'm gonna continue to plug up all the holes and I have to order some more. So I wanted to show you guys that um this i was trying to put it together it is this um purse hanger does it have this has a mark on it Ugh, look at that anyway also ordered this purse hanger now these don't come all the way put together they do have like a screw where you put the screw in through the bottom and you just connect it so it's pretty easy However, I don't have a screwdriver and I'm wondering, did they like include one of these? Like this is from some furniture that we put together downstairs and I was hoping that it would fit, but it does not. I think this one is called Phillips, I don't know. Anyway, why would they do that? So I need to figure out now I'm gonna try to use this. Oh, okay, this knife works. So let me pull this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to screw this. Y'all, look at me with this damn knife. So bootleg. Because I don't have, you know what? I think I do have a screw driver and um, an electronic one that my boyfriend keeps over here. And it may have an end for this. So we'll look into that later. I just wanted to make sure that this was somewhat put together correctly. And I, I think it is, look. Let's see. So this is what it looks like. It can be raised higher. It is adjustable. So you can adjust the height as you see fit. And I purposely ordered white in all of my accessories, except for some of the shoe, the shoe ones that will be coming in tomorrow. Um, just because I feel like white is cleaner. It's just cleaner, it's less distracting. I didn't want anything too metallic. I do have a jewelry display with gold accents and I was gonna replace it, but I just styled it with my other metallic pieces so it fit. But anything else that I purchased, I really wanted it to be all white because the statement pieces have enough color. 
but yeah this is the purse hanger so i'm going to try to tighten this up a little bit more off camera and then i'm going to show you guys what it will look like i haven't tried this yet so i don't even know what it will look like i'm just going by um what i used to use when i used to work in retail and the um, picture on the website so i'll be right back so i didn't need as many of these you guys as i thought i would need um because a lot of my handbags have more structure where they can stand on their own but gosh i don't know i have like there's makeup somewhere on my hands get my items dirty so this needs to be tightened some more didn't tighten it anymore but this is how it's supposed to look so i don't know y'all i feel like i may need to stuff this bag So I think I may need to stuff this bag so that it has a little bit more structure because this is not going to work. So I'm just going to stuff it with this um, stuffing that came in with the Amazon packages temporarily just so I can see what this is going to look like. And that looks so much better, y'all. So I definitely need to stuff my bags. <laughs> and then, um, and I was gonna place this bag. I actually wore this bag today, so it has some stuff in it. But this bag with it. I'm doing a color story here, as you guys could see. There we go. That looks better. And I'm just gonna see how this would look next to it. I like to create some kind of dimension here, so. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. So, I'm going to place these other items in my closet i have um i ordered three of those purse hangers by the way because i really don't have too many bags without any structure however i do i may order a third i mean a fourth just in case i bring home another bag <laughs> as i'm styling my closet i'm reminded that I'm going to always be changing things around, always, always, even just to bring me new inspiration and to freshen up the room. I do want to order some more of these or purchase. I want to purchase some more of these um, different kinds of artificial plants to place on my shelves just to kind of give it a little bit of razzle dazzle. And yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done. I mean, plugging the holes, that's gonna be a tedious task, but you know, I'm gonna make time to do it. But yeah, those are my pieces that came in from Amazon that I feel like I, I really wanted to share them with you just because I do know um, some of you ladies may be organizing your closet or organizing, reorganizing your space and you may can use some of these pieces. The, this I'm probably going to place in another room, like maybe in my kitchen or something, or maybe for like if I host an event, like a brunch or something, Ooh, excuse me, which is not, not very often, but I do have certain um, like dishware and displays that I've used for events that I hosted here at my home, so. But yeah, 
that's pretty much everything that I purchased um, from Amazon. I'm repurchasing some more. Oh no, I do have some shoe ones that will pretty much allow my shoes to kind of be on a like tilt. I wear mostly flats, so they're supposed to work um, for that. So I'm hoping that those look good, but I could not purchase them in white. So that was a little disappointing. I purchased one set of silver and one set of gold. So we shall see what those look like. But yeah, guys, just wanted to hop on share these pieces with you and i will check back in with you later i don't know what this vlog is gonna like fully consist of besides the haul that i do plan on doing tomorrow and i think i may go to some stores tomorrow if i feel up to it um you know like during my lunch or whatever i but am yeah, going to get to work y'all mm. put this hair up doesn't have to be the neatest I'm in the house so yeah let me grab my laptop I think it's downstairs and let's get to work Happy Monday, ladies. Happy, happy Monday. Quick disclaimer. Every time I sit down to record, my air conditioning fan starts blowing. So if you hear that noise in the background, that's what that is. I apologize in advance. Um, but yes, as promised, I wanted to give you guys a quick haul um, from pieces that I've been picking up lately. Um, most of these pieces were on sale when I purchased them, so I cannot guarantee that they're still on sale or still available. However, if they're not available, I'll try to link something that is very similar where you can get the same look. Before we get started, I wanted to share what I'm wearing, which is pretty much like a halfway outfit because I have on house shoes with it. But this is a shirt from Zara. I picked it up ooh, months ago. I've actually featured it here on the channel before. So I'll insert a clip of the full look, but it's a part of a set. I'm just wearing the blouse just to film this haul right now. And I paired it with some denim shorts. So I'll insert a quick um, photo or video of how I'm wearing it right now which is some some short denim shorts with this blouse but it originally came in a set and so I'll also insert that clip where I paired it with some Stella McCartney sneakers um, and I think I wore this to the office months ago and I paired it with the Teddy Blake bag so for some of the pieces that I'm going to show you guys I did style them fully as how I plan on wearing them or as I would wear them um, but for some of them you guys either saw me try them on in the dressing room and for others no styling is needed so quick disclaimer on that let me share this first item with you guys I am super 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 excited about it um, it came from Saks Fifth Avenue every department store every store has a massive sale going on right now y'all so lately i've been browsing all department stores including luxury department stores like neiman's bloomingdale Saks fifth avenue and all the others just to see what their sales were looking like and i came across these shoes you guys i had to grab them so these are mules by jw anderson they have like a raffia um fabric on the top and when you first look at them and when i first saw them on the website i was like oh these look so uncomfortable <laughs> they look uncomfortable because of the hard raffia you know outer shell you guys i try these on when i tell you they are super super comfortable they have like a suede like um it's kind of, it feels like a suede like texture on the bottom. So it's very soft. You guys, these are everything. I was so nervous because I felt like they look so uncomfortable with the raffia. You know, at the very top, it really looks like it could be an uncomfortable shoe to wear all day. Now, I have not worn these out yet. I have not worn them all day. I literally tried them on and was wearing them in the house for a few hours. <laughs> they felt like house slippers. That's how comfortable they are. 
So I wear either eight and a half or nine, depending on um, the brand of shoes. Usually when it comes to designer shoes, I'm a nine, as well as some Nike sneakers. I'm also a nine, just because my feet are very long, but they're narrow. These do have more of a wider, um, like a wider shape, but they feel real good. I can't wait, I cannot wait to wear these y'all. I cannot wait to wear them. I love the neutral color palette. They are different and I understand they're not for everybody. They really look like, um, like dad shoes, like dad house shoes, but I love the look. So I actually have one other sandals by JW Anderson and I feel like those sandals are extremely comfortable, extremely comfortable. They're the orange sandals that I tend to wear on my channel a lot. I'll insert a clip. Um, and you'll see them in a future clip as well when I'm styling some other pieces. But those sandals are so comfortable. They're 100% leather. I love them. And I actually purchased them a year ago. I did not wear them much last summer. I am wearing the hell out of those sandals this year. I love them so much. They're just so comfortable, so cozy, yet still glamorous. And I'm a flats girl. If I can find an elevated flat, I'm going to take advantage. And I feel like JW Anderson, they're known for their flats, like their mules and their sandals. If you are unfamiliar with the designer, J.W. Anderson is an Irish designer based out of London. I believe he has recently caught a huge buzz because of his shoes, but he also makes oh, handbags as well as clothing. I believe his first collection was introduced in 2008. Pretty young too, pretty young guy. His, his pieces are so nice and I really feel like his brand is going to grow and expand. People are going to start talking about his handbags more as well as clothing but right now you see his shoes everywhere especially his mules. So mules similar to this but without the raffia design. When I went on Saks this was the first time I actually saw this design but typically you know you will see a lot of his leather mules with the chunky chain on top those are really really popular but when i tell you guys these are so so comfortable so it has a leather band here kind of like a loafer style like penny loafer style but of course this is not open and then has like a leather trim then raffia fully at the top and then inside is let me see let me check to see what the inside is made of because I'm really curious now. Give me one second because I'm now really, really curious. I probably should have looked this up before we sat down for a chat. So the lining is leather, raffia leather upper, leather lining and rubber sole. And they're made in Italy, by the way. So you already know Italy is known for high quality leather, but yes, this is actually leather on the inside. It's like a suede, so it feels so, so good, you guys. Also, it's not like just flat at the bottom. Yeah, it has kind of like a placement for your arch to give your feet support. So I also love that because when you have like a complete flat shoe, it wears and tears on your feet. So I definitely recommend, we'll definitely link them below. If I don't find them on Saks' website, I'll definitely link them anywhere I can find them. You know, I cannot guarantee the price that I bought them for though. I cannot guarantee that. JW Anderson shoes always go on sale. The shoes that I purchased prior to was also on sale, those orange sandals. So make sure you, you know, take advantage of the sales when you do see them. So yes. Highly, highly recommend these. Now the next few items are from Zara's annual sale or semi-annual sale. I purchased them weeks ago, you guys. So they've been just sitting in my closet. I apologize, I have not shared them with you guys and some of them are sold out. If I find something similar, I will link it below. All right, so this first item from Zara is the ultimate statement piece, okay? The ultimate statement piece. It is a midi length organza skirt. I remember when Zara first introduced this on their website months ago. I think the original price was like a hundred and something dollars. I literally placed it in my cart and just had it sitting. So like maybe a month later, I saw Stephanie of the Soft Nurse brand um, share this on her channel. Saw her, um, you know, showcase it. I thought this skirt is so pretty. I should get it. I should get it. 
because it was literally sitting in my cart. She shared some details regarding the skirt and I was like, okay, I think I wanna get it now. I still didn't get it. <laughs> I still didn't get it. Well, well, when I saw that it was included in the Zara sale and saw the price difference, it came and I was so happy I purchased it. So happy I got it. Now, mind you, when I purchased it, the larges were gone. I don't even know if they even had it in extra large, but typically with Zara, I'm a large extra large. Now I can fit more larges, but before that, before when I first saw this, I was strictly extra large in Zara. In the description, in the product description on the website, it does say that it runs big and Stephanie of the Softeners brand said the same thing. I it's an elastic waist part right here. It's a little stretchy, don't get me wrong, but when I feel like when I first tried it on, it was way more stiff and I was afraid that it will split, okay? But now that I've been wearing it around the house, you know, when I was styling it for you guys, it's way more comfortable. So I toned it down and made it a little edgy. I paired it with some silver cuffs, silver jewelry, silver bangles. I just placed it with a black tank top. That is it. The skirt just gets all the attention, okay? And then I also paired it with this denim this um, denim croc designed bag from Zara. You guys have seen it on my channel before. And then added a little scarf that had the same similar blue, but with another pop of color, just to make it a little bit more interesting. I did not style this with any shoes, just because I don't feel like I have I don't know if I have a shoe that would do it justice. I'm actually looking for some nice black elevated sandals. I don't really like the sandals that I currently have, but if you are a heel girl, a nice simple heel would go perfectly with this. But yes, I paired it with, you know, just a simple black tank top. Now, I did have other ways of styling it in mind when, I, when it first arrived. Um, I thought about styling it with a cropped t-shirt. Imagine this with just a cropped t-shirt. That's it. You know, just to tone it down, make it a little bit more edgy, make it a little bit more fashion forward. We love it. Love, love, love it. It does have like a lining at the bottom. You see, I didn't take the tag off because I could still return. <laughs> But it does have like a short skirt lining so that you're not completely, it's not completely see-through if you're not comfortable, you know, wearing the whole sheer skirt with a panty lining underneath. I know that is the look now, that is the trend now, but everybody's not comfortable wearing that. It does have like a skirt lining, which I do like, and it does not take away from the skirt because the sheer part is so beautiful you guys like i just think this is such a beautiful skirt but like so I the next piece that i'm going to show you is also from zara and it's kind of the same kind of trend not as bold so it is this orange sheer skirt i actually purchased this during the sale as well i love it oh my god it is completely sheer and it has like a more metallic -y, um elastic fabric at the top so when i first opened up the package and took this skirt out i immediately thought it's going back i immediately thought it's going back because the lace isn't itchy, right? The, the sheer lace isn't itchy, but the band, which is fully elastic, is a little, it feels a little itchy. It feels a little cheap. It feels a little low in quality. However, after trying it on, wearing it with a bathing suit bottom, I can, I can tolerate it. It's not as itchy. I feel like that bathing suit bottom or any panty, any lining that you choose creates a barrier between the band and the panty. So it's not as uncomfortable when I tried it on as I thought it would be. It's not as itchy, but it definitely feels very hard and itchy when you first take it out the package. Um, this skirt is a size large. I probably could have got a medium, but I styled it as a bathing suit cover up. So I paired it with this orange two piece from Shein that I got many years ago and um, you know, some gold jewelry, a gold metallic um, 
metal bag from Zara. I don't rec recommend it because the functionality is horrible, but it definitely goes with this. It makes it a really cute look. So yeah, I paired this as a cover up, but I think you can also wear this as, you know, just a regular skirt as well if you wear it with like a long enough top i did pair this two ways so i wore it without a top so that you guys can see what it will look like just strictly as a cover-up and then i also paired it with a silk um shirt that i purchased purchased from zara last year so you can see what it will look like especially like as resort wear you know where you need to go into the dining area covered up but as soon as you hit the beach take the top off and chill out like that is the look that we're giving here i absolutely love the color this orange it's like a tangerine color tangerine orange i love it i love it and i'm actually pairing it with those jw anderson sandals that i was talking about earlier the orange is slightly different in color but i didn't care i mean i just think it goes really really well with this skirt um you could style this skirt a number of ways. I thought about styling it with a simple t-shirt, especially if you are a tall girly, a simple t-shirt, belt the t-shirt and just have the skirt flowing looks so good. I love that look. I'll try to find a, you know, a look similar and insert a clip, but I think that look will go really, really well with this as well. But you guys, this skirt was so pretty. I'm glad that I purchased it on sale. I don't think this is a skirt that I would purchase for full price because I don't think I would get enough wear out of it. Like I mentioned, I do plan on wearing this as a cover up. Absolutely love it. And then I possibly could wear this as a skirt too, now the next two pieces I, I also purchased from zara's annual sale but it's not for the summer okay i mean i guess one of the pieces you can wear i wear it when traveling but let me show you so this first piece is just a cropped um denim jacket from zara it was on sale it is heavily distressed so you see all the distressing here in the back of the arms the um, bottoms are unfinished. Just a simple jacket. I actually have a crop denim jacket by Zara. Um, it is older. It is a little bit more cropped and darker denim, a darker wash, but it was time for a new one. <laughs> it's time for a new one. When I tell you I've worn that jacket so much, I'm tired of wearing it. You ever have clothes that you wear so much that you're just literally tired of looking at it and tired of putting it on, but it goes perfectly with so many looks. That is what the denim jacket that I already had by Zara. So I definitely was looking to invest in another one. And when I saw this on the sale, mind you, the sale started on the day that I came back from Mexico. So I was in the middle of traveling. I started adding pieces to my cart at the hotel waiting for my transportation to come pick me up to take me to the airport in mexico okay was adding pieces to my cart because i love when zara does that they will announce a sale and then allow you to spend two days or one day adding items to your cart so that as soon as the sale hits you can just press you know um purchase or whatever well, I was in the middle of traveling. So between going to the airport, getting on the plane, coming back, the ride back, I lost majority of the items that I added to my cart from the Zara sale. This was one that was left. So that's why I purchased it. And I had to go back on the app and go through items again because everything that I had selected was sold out. But this one, definitely, I love the pocket at the side and I think they consider this an over shirt, not necessarily a jacket, but it is, you know, nice and light, perfect for travel. So yeah, and I purchased the extra, I think this is the extra large, yes. This is the extra large, usually in jackets, I do like them to have an oversized look, just in case I wanna wear them in the winter over a sweater or over a hoodie. And so I usually get an extra large, but like I mentioned, I think I'm coming down to where I can wear certain larges in Zara, but I think I will forever purchase an extra large when it comes to jackets. Speak I also purchased a hoodie <laughs> from the men's department, you guys. Listen, do not sleep on the men's department at any retailer, but especially when it comes to Zara. When I tell you I love the men's clothes, especially for like hoodies, t-shirts, 
they have the best hoodies over on the men's side. So of course I went to the men's collection and I saw this pink hoodie. It says dream huge, adventure is worthwhile in New York in small print. But I love this color. Pink. Like this is the first year that I'm purchasing so many bright colors, especially pinks. Typically I stay away from it, but I absolutely just love this. And I wear sweatshirts and hoodies all year round, especially working from home in the house. You know, I keep the AC on, usually a little chilly. So I'll throw a hoodie on in a second. I absolutely love this. I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it during the, um, you know, during the fall and winter. This is a size, I believe it's a size large. Yes, so this is a size large. It is men's, so it's gonna have a looser, relaxed fit, but I love it, you guys. Love Zara men's hoodies, you guys. I definitely recommend you ladies um, try them out. I, there was a black hoodie that I ordered before and I ended up returning it and I really regret returning it. I really, really regret returning it, but it wasn't on sale and I think I just didn't wanna pay full price for it and that was purchased last year. Anywho. Anywho. Let's move on to Target. So as you guys saw in the previous clips, I went to Target the other day. I was looking for some, just some nice summer dresses or just summer clothes that I could wear um, for this last minute trip to Jamaica. I told you guys I'm not going on a resort. So a lot of the summer clothes that I have is resort wear. Similar to like this, like with sleeves where you know you're gonna be right on the beach and there's gonna be a breeze. I don't know if we're gonna go to the beach or if we're gonna go swimming at all. We will be with family for the most part. So I just really wanted some really nice, comfortable clothes that I could wear in the heat. Um, it's been a long time since I've purchased a sundress you guys it's been a, such a long time and when i went into target i saw that they had some sundresses and i just tried them on and i absolutely love the fit i think i stayed away from sundresses around this time last year because that was when i was gaining a little bit of weight and i really wasn't comfortable with my body so to wear a fitted dress all day was a no for me but when I tried this on in Target, y'all, I was in love. You hear me? So this one is a buy a new day. And I'll insert the clip from when I tried it on in the dressing room, um, just in case y'all forgot. <laughs> but I didn't like fully style this because this is a, I mean, this is probably the easiest thing you can style throughout the summer is a sundress. Very simple. I love this nude color. Um, and I love how it's gathered at the midsection, so it's very forgiving. And honestly, it kind of looks like a maternity dress, you know, on the hanger because it's so forgiving and it gives you that, um, you know, it gives you that stretch at the mid, at the waist. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was maternity. Is this maternity? No, it's not maternity wear, but... I absolutely love it and I love how forgiving it is at the waist because you know after you eat lunch and you're out all day you're not gonna see that bulge or it's not gonna be so obvious that you ate a burger you know what I mean so love this and I also love that this is a line so number one it makes your butt look really good okay definitely enhances the booty okay but also it is A-line, unlike another one that I'm about to show you. So I don't know, it's, it, it just, I, I just love the fit of this one by A New Day. And this is a size large. So I am wearing a large, um, it is ribbed, but it's very light in fabric, very, very light. So perfect for a hot summer day, especially in Jamaica, okay? But like I said, I, I love the color. I feel like you could pair it with anything. It's like the perfect nude or pinkish nude. So yeah, love this. Very, very comfortable. As soon as I tried it on in the dressing room, I went back to the section to see if they had any others. And they didn't have anything else, any other dresses by a new day in that same style in the size that I needed, which is a large. I believe they had some other sizes left. So went on the website and I always do this when it comes to Target. 
um, because like I mentioned, the Target closest to me is just not good when it comes to clothing. So I went on the website, saw that they had other colors available, and I purchased pretty much all the colors they had available in a large. So this is like a orange, a very like a tomato. You know what? That other that other skirt. I'm sorry, it was more of a tomato orange, not a tangerine. Anywho, the other skirt from Zara. So yeah, this is also like a tomato orange color i haven't even tried the color on yet i mean this one on in this color yet but i already know how it's gonna look and i'm gonna love it <laughs> another one by a new day and then i also purchased, purchased it. it in black so the other dress that i purchased that same day is by universal thread and it's also a ribbed sundress or summer dress <laughs> um i got it in a size medium like a light olive um, like a light olive green color and I also really really love the fit and look of this dress I just prefer a new day I prefer the ones that I previously showed you guys but they also offer this same dress in similar colors than to the other dresses that I showed you guys by a new day so they offer it in like an orange color. I believe they offer a black and they also had a pink available. There were a lot of other colors that were once available on the website that were, it said completely sold out. So I don't even think you could get those um, other colors at another store. So when I came back home, I literally tried on these dresses again, just to make sure that I wanted, you know, just to make sure I purchased the style that I liked the best. And I really did like a new day better than this one, but I also like this one too. This one, it, you know, it fits really, really good. It's very comfortable. The fabric is slightly thicker, but it is also ribbed. So it's a slightly thicker, but also ribbed. Um, and what else it's not a line this goes straight down you know like a typical midi or maxi dress and yeah it has like a high split so if you don't mind showing a little leg or a little thigh this dress will be perfect but yeah i really do like this i got this in a size medium and they were only five dollars there was only a five dollar difference between both the styles so this was for twenty dollars the Universal Thread one, $20, and the one by A New Day is $25. So last but not least are some shorts that I picked up from H&M. I went to H&M to make a return, and when did I... Um, yeah, I went into H&M to make a return last week and just went through their sale rack. I didn't really see much of anything else, but I did see these shorts. You guys, I actually saw this set, the full set on the website, and I think I added it to cart, but I don't know why I didn't purchase it. I think I was questioning how it would look on me as a short sleeve set. For some reason, I love long sleeve sets versus the short sleeve set to wear just on an everyday basis. I don't know. I just like manipulating the short the long sleeve set into a crop versus a short sleeve but when i went into h&m and went through their sale racks they had this just the shorts available not the top so i'm guessing someone probably returned it this is in a size medium typically i would have purchased a large but for the price that i got it i think i purchased this for ten dollars i was like let me just get the medium it fits me and it's comfortable but when it comes to shorts like this i typically go up a size or you know just like a more relaxed fit h m you guys know runs slightly big anyway so the medium definitely works but i felt like this was super super cute i love the print i love the fruit you know kind of like a farm real type of look you know that vibe now i would wear this with a nice like a simple shirt just to keep the shorts the center of attention you could wear this as a bathing suit cover up like bottoms just to cover up the bottom portion of your bathing suit i mean there's so many different ways you could wear this um but i would definitely wear it make more casually but i love it 
I love it. It is slightly sheer. So that's why I say as a bathing suit cover up, you know, if you're on the beach or at the pool and you just want to throw some shorts on, I think these will be really, really, really cute to wear. But you can also wear this with a t-shirt and just wear it casually and dress it up. You know, there's so many different ways you can wear it, but I absolutely love the print. I feel like um, this looks you know, it can pass for a more higher end, <laughs> like a Farm Rio um, look. So yeah, love these. These were from H&M, they were $10, size medium. But that, but that concludes this haul for today, ladies. Thank you so much for hanging out with me throughout this vlog. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. If you are on Instagram, feel free to follow me at Shireen underscore H. My Instagram username is always in the corner of the video screen. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. If this was your first time and you enjoyed the content, I hope you will subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.